Hello everyone, it's Natasha from Treasure Books. I'm really excited about today's video because I'm sharing a collaboration that I did with my mum. So she made these bags and I made the journals, these little journals that go inside the bags. These are listed in my Etsy shop, link is down below if you wanted to have a look. So let me show you what we've got here. Okay, let's start with this one. So I'll show you the bag first and then we'll go into the journal. Okay, so this is what the bag looks like and on the other side as well. This one's got the shortest strap out of the three. So this looks really nice wrapped around your hand like this. You can sling it over your shoulder if you like, but this one is more of a hand clutch, I guess. So it's got beautiful little details. You can see here she's done some beading and this ruffled pleated ribbon over here. And then some little details like this on the side. Absolutely beautiful. And now this can open and it can open on the other side, these zips. And that opens the bag further. So that's what it looks like inside. And now you can see the journal goes in there there's still plenty of space for other things that you want to keep in there and then once it's closed like this it's a perfect little fit and then over here I don't know if you can see it's a bit hard to see on this one but there are these little clips if you want to keep your black bag closed like this I hope you can see that okay let me open this back up. So that's the bag. You can see very, very good craftsmanship. She's uh, amazing at look at all of these details. I don't even know if it's coming across properly in the video. You can see this beautiful beading that she added and these little tassel, beaded little tassels at the ends. So that's the bag. I'm going to have all of the measurements for the bag and the strap and all of that in my Etsy listing. So now for the journal. This is the size of the journal, five and a half by three and three quarters. And it has 68 pages. All of the journals are the same inside. So I will do a thorough flip through of just the one and then the other ones I'll just quickly show you. So we have a closure here that's removable, sari silk closure. And then in here, I have just tucked an envelope with a few different bits and pieces that you can include in your journals. So there's some little tags and little things like this and some stickers and some pretty paper and all sorts of different types of things that, you know, you can, I don't know, use throughout your journal to embellish just little bits like this, some fabrics and things like that. So that's the envelope. And then here on the first page, I have a little pocket. Uh, there's a little flower here. And then I've just stuck uh, this journal belongs to a cardstock so you can write your name on there. Okay, so there's lots of sewing inside. And like I said, there's 68 pages. And I've added some little details throughout to embellish the journal a little bit. And we have all different types of paper, like this handmade type paper and... We've got pockets and this is a tag here and this is an envelope, a beautiful little envelope. I've done some stenciling on the pages, lots and lots of writing, uh, writing spots or lots of writing areas. Another little envelope here and this is an extra piece of paper to journal on. So I've just stuck that in there. And that's held together with this golden paper clip with a little golden bead at the end. It's just the little details. A doily here. Some stamping. Some little book pages with quotes and things like that. This page opens up like this. I have a little sticker there. And I've just included little details throughout the journal to make it, you know, pretty. This is a journaling spot and it's just tucked in here and then this opens up some grid paper some sewing i really like this wigglies type sewing completes the page stamping this one here opens up for more journaling space another one of those quote little book pages 
doily. Here I've tacked in some extra pieces of paper. All of the things that are tacked in can obviously be moved around. So some more pages for writing. Here I've tacked in two tags in a little pocket here. Look at this beautiful, I love this image. And I love all the different types of paper, all the sewing throughout the journal. Okay, and here at the end is a little sticker and it says handmade with love and that completes this journal. Okay, moving right along. So this one here has a longer strap. So this can be over the shoulder or even crossbody if you like, or you can, uh, you know, same thing, wrap it around your hand and hold it like this. So both sides look like this, pretty much exactly the same. And then there's again, details on the side here. It's a little bit dark to see, uh, a little bit hard to see because it's black, but this is all hand sewn by my mum some beautiful golden lace here and once again same as the other one this one can be opened up like this it's a beautiful upholstery fabric and then you know you can't see because it's dark but that's the inside and the journal fits in there and once again this bag also has these little clips you can see here I'm not sure what they're called they do have a proper name but I can never think of the proper names when I'm filming okay so that's the bag measurements will be included in the listing and now for the journal so the journal is the same as the one that I've just shown there's an envelope with the goodies all in there and then everything is pretty much the same you might find you know the images will differ and like this envelope is you know a little bit different and scrapbook paper that sort of thing but it's pretty much exactly the same as the one I have just shown you so that is that one and now for the third one so this bag is not as firm as the others because this uh, this upholstery fabric is a thinner type of fabric so this one's a little bit more pliable I'm not sure if that's the correct word but this is what the bag looks like once again this beautiful detail on the side here and these little flowers this is all hand stitched all of this some lace here flowers and then on this side same thing so this opens up this bag actually has the most space inside so it opens up like this and you can see the journal goes right in there and that can close like that so this one actually the journal can you know come right out without opening these and then once again we've got clips here if you like to, like to keep it nice and secure it's just there you know if you like to use it so the strap looks like this there's actually two and uh, once again this probably could go over the shoulder or you know once again wrap it around your hand okay so that's the bag now let's get to the journal so on this journal I've included this these same flowers that my mom has on the bag and obviously you've noticed that the fabrics you know are the same that we've used for the bag in the journal and uh, I'll just show you quickly inside the journal so the cover is uh, you know it's not a it's a soft cover I guess but it's uh, quite sturdy still uh, because I've got cardstock, uh, cardstock in between the two pieces of fabric. And then once again, there's a little envelope with all the uh, goodies inside for you to use throughout your journal. And that just goes there. And then once again, you know, pocket here, which this journal belongs to. And then the inside is exactly the same as the other ones I've shown. So I did exactly the same thing. But some of the things that will differ is these images from book pages and the little quote uh, book page that I've got in there. You know, this is the envelope here. I've used this green scrapbook paper. So it's just minimal little differences between the journals, but pretty much exactly the same. I just want to show you some more little details just so you can see how impeccable my mum's work is. So you will he see here these little flowers all have a little seed bead in the middle and then there's all of these little seed beads all hand sewn onto this beautiful little ribbon here. You can see at the end of the zip she's also got some beads down there and all of the bags have that at the end of the zip. 
So all of this was done by my mum. She is definitely a perfectionist and everything has to be absolutely perfect with her work. So you can see down here and there's two layers of this beautiful lace on here. Absolutely gorgeous. Then on this one you can see once again, it's hard to see in the video, but you can see these seed beads at the end of the zipper and you can't really see here, but this lace is held down by individual black beads that she's hand sewn. So all of these little black beads throughout, you can see down here. I mean, once you have it in your hand, if you decide to purchase it, you'll be able to see all of the details. But this is more for inspiration. And you can see all these beautiful, uh, this gorgeous little tassel here. And then the same thing at the back. Well, there is no front or back, they, uh, you know, <laughs> they look the same on, on both sides. And then on this one here, you can see all of these beads hand sewn by my mum. Look at all of this gorgeous, beautiful work. I don't even know how she does it. And then down here, look at these beads over here. And then on the side there. I hope that it's coming across in the video because it's just absolutely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful work. Look at this. Everything is well thought out. You know, it, it wasn't slapped together, you know, and this one has on the strap. Look at this. Some beads over here. Isn't that just beautiful? I hope that it's coming across in the video. Okay, so those are the three sets that I have available at the moment in my Etsy shop. Please keep in mind if you are purchasing or before you're purchasing, keep in mind that the shipping times are, you know, huge at the moment because of everything that's happening. You know, be patient with that. Everything takes a lot longer to arrive. Um, I will be making more of these. My mum is making uh, some more bags, so then we can do some more little journals to go with the bags. And that should hopefully come soon if you're interested and these are already gone. So link to my Etsy shop is down below. I hope you like the little sets that I've got and I hope you feel inspired most of all. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!